upper class, yeah. yes. Oh, the, the, the upper class and middle class in there. Yes. This is where we're on the West African Highway to Temba. We will talk about it. Why Temba to Prom Prom slash Mingo. And what you're looking at is an extension of East Lagoon. This is an extended area. On your, on your right hand side is the light industrial area. Light industrial area. On the right hand side, light industrial area. So I'll go to Tema. And then uh, on the left is the East Lego. Part of East Lego. Since I don't have a so that's what it's called, titled part of East Lego. Yeah. Part of something that we call no hurry in life. So in Ghana, our type of building is known as no hurry in life. You start work, you have money, you first go and buy your land. After buying your land, we try to save, keep some money somewhere, invest some money, and use that money to start continue having your, uh, what do you call, your uh, 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 foundation. Your foundation. So therefore, let's say for example, if you use two years in getting money to buy the land, use another two years getting your foundation done. Use another two years getting to the window level. Use another two years to finish it. How many years? Eight years. At your own time, you have built your own royal house. No bank, no financial institutions come to hold you that you owe me. No. A lot of people will not go in for uh, a, a loan to build their house. No, it's suicidal. The interest rate is very high. Currently, the interest rate is about 25, 26, 25%. Very high. So if you go in for $100, uh, uh, $100,000, you can just imagine how much you are going to pay. How many years can you take to pay all this? If you don't take time, your grandchildren will come and pay. Nobody want that. I don't want to create that for my children and my grandchildren. Nobody will like that. As a result of that, I will take my time. There is no rush, no hurry in life. Take your time and build your royal house. And that is how it is. The houses that you see them coming out very fast, too. Either the person is, not a, is a Ghanaian working outside the country. And then, like in U.S., Ghanaians work there, and they send money to buy a house and do this and build for them, buy land and all that. Yes, if they can give themselves one year, one and a half, or two years, and it will be done. Not in three months, six months. Yeah. Yes, I, want, I want to contribute a little bit to this. That was the reason why uh, the government doesn't rush you of paying a yearly rent, because you put up home building, you struggle to put up your own building, right? And uh, you have to pay some tax money, but it's legally to pay, but the government doesn't owe you, you know, try to pay some penalty and all of that. Like I was saying, my, my grandmother has almost about 50 years now, we haven't paid 
That, but it's part of it. It also is a contributing factor. Yeah. That's not. That's not like an honest job. That we do that. Yeah. That's honest. Yeah. It's true. It's true. That's real. That's real. That's real. If Chase, if Chase Bank comes to Africa, oh yeah. That is why. Now, uh, three days today, Brabo Mani says something. Uh, he said come to Africa. Africa is a paradise. <laughs> and you see, sometimes I like his minorisms. He said Africa is paradise. And you open his hands. <laughs> paradise. And it's true. Over there, they'll chase you here. No. Oh, there are some house owners, we call them landlords. They go and then pay everything. They just pay everything. But uh, it is your obligation to pay. But if you don't pay, they will not chase you. Until you get your involve, involve yourself in a problem where you go to court, then the court will be fair to you. If not that, then you are never fired. Some of our brothers and sisters from the US have come and they have overstayed here in Ghana. The immigration program is good for them. Police in order to chase them. They are here. They are here. So what? They are working. But if you involve yourself in a criminal act and you are arrested, then you should be a As you can, if you decide not to go, nobody will arrest you. No, you, you can go everywhere. If you have your citizenship, thank God. If you don't have your citizenship and you are there working, nobody cares. Nobody will call you, you are an African American, you are this, and no, no, they don't care. But if you involve your, if you are not quiet person and you would like to involve yourself in a criminal act, then the law will get hold of If not that, you can be here then. Some people were here, uh, I think Dr. Melana said he was here, uh, uh, is this seven or eight years before he had his citizenship? So he overstayed. <laughs> you get me? He overstayed. He, he overstayed, but he was contributing. Exactly. He was doing something. Of all the people, and that's all. That's all. Nobody will chase him, nobody will worry. Yeah, thank you. Um, there is an interesting town here. There's an interesting town, it's coming up on your left. If I come up on your left, I'll show you. This town is called Ashama. Ashama. We have 75 ethnic groups, that means 45 languages. That's 46 languages in Ghana and Dalits. When you come to this town called Ashaman, you can find all the languages in Ghana here. That is the only place you can find all the languages in Ghana speaking here. Meaning that from the north, south, east and west, central part of Ghana, they have some people who have migrated from that place to this place. How did Ashama came to be? Just ahead of us, we are the deep sea ports. That you call the harbor. And with the harbor, when Dr. Kwame Kuma started with the harbor to build the harbor, he first built houses and named it communities. And it was from community one up to community ten. So that the workers who are working at the various areas will have a place to sleep at the end of the day. 
Currently, we have the communities up to community 30. And, and the other that have opened up. People drew from far and near, from all the other towns in Ghana, to come and reside here and do business. So, the autotons of this area, they are the guns. The guns said, at that time, this place was a bush. And the dam uh, uh, chief sent a group of people to come and uh, live around this area. Uh, just a small group. And the leader of them is called Ashai. 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 So when people are like Medina, it's a Medina people. When they are coming here, they said, I'm going to where the Ashai people are. The Ashai people. The Ashai people. Ashai itself is a name. Now, some part of the gang are called Shai, Shai. Not those who Shai, you know what I mean? They are Shai people. So the Shai people were also living around that area. Hence the name Shai Town. We are not going to pass it, that's how I'll show you. And then it became a shy man. Man means town. A shy town. A shy town. Yeah. All because of the emerging harbor that was standing up. Now it's a very, very big area. It is only a shy man that you can find some towns that are outside Ghana names here. When you come to Ashaiman, we have a town called Lebanon. Lebanon is a place that was given to soldiers who went to Lebanon and returned. Lebanon, so Ghanaian uh, soldiers goes to Lebanon. What do they do? Uh, uh, because of the fight over there, they go on peacekeeping missions. So uh, when they came, they went to a land to build their own houses. So the chief gave them a land over there and they name it Lebanon, Lebanon. When you come to Ghana, there's a certain town called Russia. There's a certain town called London, small London. Uh, we have uh, 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 Dubai, in Lebanon here. We have a town called Dubai. We have a town called uh, um, England, England. And we have various country's names all in this town called Ashiyama. That's why I said it's a unique area. So we are, go ahead. So it's a melting pot. Yes, it's a melting pot, like a melting pot. Yes, please. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so we run into the Tema traffic. Yeah, there is a traffic light ahead of us yeah. and that have created this. Um, because there is a town here that people drive in. Without a traffic light, there will be chaos. There will be chaos. Uh, and uh, some of the drivers would like to pass through, drive through unapproved routes. When you look just behind us, there is another car that is turning. It's supposed yeah. not to turn there. But if it were to be US, they will arrest him. Yeah. Here in Ghana, he had it free. That is why our motto is freedom and justice. <laughs> we have much freedom. But you know, if you have so much freedom, you abuse it. You abuse the freedom that you have. You have so much freedom. Well, you, or you take it for granted. Yeah, but I was just thinking, you know, speed that diaspora is coming to here, it would change a whole lot. Yeah. And maybe you wouldn't like it. You know, it's free. It's free. You're free doing people crossing the road, doing all kinds of things. Yeah. You know, diaspora has come. Now they're going to set it the straight way. This is the way you're going to do it. And yeah. Like they said, be careful what you ask for. It's true. There you go. <laughs> but what is that is true. But the thing is that I did, I did uh, 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 psychology. I was training psychology. And uh, I'm happy that you said you're also a psychology nurse. Yeah. 
in psychology, we have something we call acculturation and enculturation. Uh, it simply means that I can move to US and US will change me. I have enculturate. Now, you can move from there, come to Ghana, and change the people over here. You have acculturate. So it's two ways. They can come here, and we can also change them. <laughs> and they can come here and change us. In natural fact, it is said the other way. Yeah. It is said that it is the visitors who makes the town better. It is true, always it is the visitors who make the town better. Better because you see some young guys selling orders, or even dog chains and other things, and you'll be hurt. Why should my brother sell dog chain by the roadside? You come out with a, a company, uh, I want to employ those people, and then you go ahead and employ them. You pay their social security, you give them, uh, at the end of the month, you pay them some money. They will stop working by the roadside, they will stop selling the dog chains, they will stop the things, the bad things that they are doing. What have you done? You have changed the situation. They have social security. Come on. Social security. Yes, you have social security. For, for who? who for the citizen. Oh, really? Yeah. Social security for the citizens. Does it depend it, on the job that you have? It depends on the job that you do and how much you are being paid. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have social security. But I can tell you that um, there's nothing to talk home about. <laughs> the reason is that if someone is being paid 500 cities a month, like $100 a month, for example, and you pay his social security maybe uh, 20 cities a month. Mm. 20 cities is how many dollars? About four dollars a month. How much will this person accumulate until he goes on pension? 100 cities a month. By the time he goes on pension, he have 100 cities or 200 cities. <laughs> now, this is what you have contributed. There is an organization uh, that have to invest your contribution. That's how you make it. Yeah. And when they invest your contribution and you go on pension or retirement, then they will be able to give you a certain amount every month for you to enjoy your contribution. But here you are, you con your contribution is very, very, very low. So what are you going to get? You also get very low. But if the contribution is high, you also get high. Then, there are reason another idea. What are they investing into? Are they investing at the right place? Are they getting the profits of their investment? And those who are controllers, who are controlling everything, are they, are they honest to themselves? That is another multi-million question. Are they honest to themselves? If they come, they employ them, and within no time, you see them in flashy cars, flashy houses. That is your money is what they are, they are misusing. They got, they got that in the United States too. Aha, uh -huh. they got it in the United States, everywhere. Everywhere. But it's still good. So, it, it's, it's good. It's still good when you, make, I can, when you make it work. Yeah, I can tell you that. Oh, it's good when it's uh, yeah. make it work. That one there is perfect. And I will always like people to go in for that. Currently, in Ghana, a lot of people would like to go in for insurance more than social security insurance you know what you are getting at the end of four years five years ten years we have different type of insurance so instead of you going to have social security you would like to go in for insurance if insurance will pay me uh, this x amount at the end of five years it is far better that five years i can take that money invest it somewhere for my future. Every five years I go and take it and invest it for my future. For example, if every five years I'm getting $2,000, I can take that $2,000, buy a, a, a deposit for a vehicle or buy a vehicle. Let the vehicle run as a commercial vehicle. 
I'm also generating some money. And that money, put it back into another investment. By the end, the time that you go on retirement, you have money here, you have money here, you have money here. That's for an educated person. Most people are not that smart. <laughs> yeah. They don't have that knowledge. Uh -huh. So they're not gonna make it. For lack of knowledge, right. yes. they will perish. It's true. It's true. There are some people too. When you advise them that way, they won't take it. That's right. They will not take it. They don't understand. They won't understand. It is mandatory that when you are working with the government, you pay social security. They will deduct it from your salary before you receive it. Apart from that, also private entities private entities if you are a private company and you employ some people you have to pay their social security you deduct it from your salary right. and then that company also add a certain percentage to it that's good now that's that's a good that's a part of good investment yes so if they if, if they at the end of every month they are taking 50 cities from your uh, 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 salary and then the government also have to add 50 or 40 CDs, that becomes 90 CDs every month for you as a social security. Yes. But another question is, you the employer, you will not know whether your employee is adding his, that money to it or the government is adding his portion. You might not know. Don't uh, think we, uh, with us, we get a report. Yeah. Okay. We get a report. Okay. Yeah. And you okay. know what your money is. Yeah. Not only that, if you need money, you can borrow on it. Wow. Yes, you can borrow wow. money. And you are, you're not using their money, you're using your, your money. Your money. <laughs> <laughs> that's how to get you. That's true. That's true. I love that. That's how I make it. Oh, that's great. That's that is you great. Make. You see, that is the difference between the developed country and undeveloped country. Mm -hmm. Or the developed country and what they have blind us or they have Why labeled would I borrow us. Your money uh, it's a third world. world. Third world. So who is the first world? Who is the second world? And who is, who is at the third world? <laughs> you see, <laughs> that is that is a big problem. Yeah, greed has got us messed up. So for us to for us to come out from this uh, 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 ideology that they brought, we need you. Yeah. We need our brothers and Aww. sisters. Yeah. And this is what they've done. Come to over. When, he said that. Oh. Yeah. So when you come over, they've been having their foot on our neck for so long. Uh -huh. We're trying to get it up off our neck. Yes. Let us breathe. Sure. You understand? Don't take from me and don't give me nothing. Go ahead. I can do it myself. Go ahead, George. Just get up off me. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Yeah. If you all come. The, I, I can quantify the number of, or I can I cannot even imagine the number of people that Brad Bumani have brought to Ghana to come and learn, to come and see, experience. Uh, there is this lady, let me share this with you. She was in, uh, I think 2000, and, either 13 or 14, she was on the tour, Brad Bumani's tour. Um, this fair colored tall lady, she's in Atlanta. Uh, she's called uh, Varian, Varian or so. When she was coming, the husband also is a, an African American. And then uh, she had a problem with the husband when she was coming to Ghana. The husband always traveled to uh, Spain, Barcelona, to go and enjoy their holiday. He goes with the children, goes with the wife. Mm -hmm. And then the wife said, no, we are Africans. Why can't we go back and see, experience, and then come back and talk to our kids? And the husband says, no, I won't go to Africa. And the wife said, the wife tried for so many years. Later, the wife decided, you know what? I have to go back. I'll go. Yeah. And then the husband said, you know what? According to the wife, said the husband's last word is that, when you go to Africa, when you come, I will divorce you. Oh, wow. And I said, I don't care. The lady joined, took a tour, came. When he went home, according to her, there was a divorce letter.
So they went to court. And then he told the court, you know what? This and this and this. I just want to know where my great great grandparent came from. That's why I went there. I have no problem with my husband. And the husband said, You went to a diseased world. A lie. And now you are coming to affect me with disease. No. I was so sad that, according to her, the judge granted the divorce. So she was given a certain part of money and all that, including the kids that he came here with. She said he had four kids, brought two. Two of them, the father said, go away with your mom. And that's all. She started struggling a little bit. Now she's finding her feet on the ground. And uh, now the kids are grown. And they are there. So you can easily see that some of our own brothers and sisters over there are not happy when you are coming. The African Americans, they don't want to. You see, I see that they have been brainwashed. Exactly, man. As a result of that, I have nothing to do with them. I'm not like them. I'm no, a different. Yeah, they're not African. They're not African. You, you hear some young people. If you say uh, you're, you're African, I'm not no African. What you talking about? Uh, uh, I, I'm going to tell you this. I'm brainwashed to a certain degree, uh -huh. but I'm trying to face the truth. I'm here to learn sure. what I need to do. Well, I'm seeing myself. I didn't belong to nothing. Yeah. I want to know where I belong. Yeah. I'm here. Sure. So right. let me see. Exactly. Let me see the truth. Yeah. Don't lie to me. Why are they lying to me? They're lying because they're using the people. They're taking all the minerals from the country. Sure. And they don't want you to see what they've yeah. done to these people. That's yeah. the truth. Yeah. That's Preach, true. brother. Preach. That's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. When all the people that have been to Ghana before, if when they when they go back, back to US and they are preaching like what you are preaching, I'm sure they will be able to change a certain lives. But some of them go there and zip their mouth. And close their mind off. That never happened. They're oh. lying. No, that's yeah. like that's my, a coward. Yes. That's like my daughter, yeah. right? So um, I said, you know what? Um, I think I'll buy me a little piece of land in, in, in Africa. Yeah. Africa. You know, um, so I started talking about it, and she says, um, then she heard about uh, Stephen Wonder was going to move to Africa. Yeah, yeah. Um, Steve Harvey did something in Africa. Hey, you know, mommy, that, that Africa thing there, that don't sound too bad there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she's telling all her friends, oh, my mother is doing all of this. We're going to have a home in Africa. Now that's all she's talking about. That's wow, wonderful. That's good. When the spirit is there. Yeah. See, we can get through this brainwashing stuff. Yeah. They got us so crazy. Tell us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got a funny one. My, um, one of my nephews told me on my, on my thing. When you get to Africa, kick Tarzan in his back pocket. <laughs> Just <kicking> me. <laughs> <laughs> you should do what? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not a bad. You know ain't no thousand. Why with that, with uh -huh. big lie. They know they ain't no back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first trip to Ghana many yeah. years ago. Yeah. People were with us. They were looking for Tarzan <laughs> when they got to. <laughs> they were actually looking for Tarzan or monkeys and trees, black people living in trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fact, when we were coming, I was showing you on the left the oh, beautiful God. houses that you have. Yeah. See, if Wanda has a house there. So he bought a place uh, at the Balloon, there's a place called Balloon Gate. Yeah, he has, he has a very nice, beautiful house. Ooh. This brings to mind, let me tell you a story. Oh, boy. It's not a story, but um, it's really something that happened. Um, in Iowa, Iowa in the U.S., uh, Iowa State University, I am the, the coordinator here in Ghana 
for tours. So anytime that we want to come on tour, we do, I do everything for them and then they come. They stay in the country for three weeks, 21 days. The professor himself, uh, you know, is a, a Ghanaian and the other professors that come with him. And then when they arrive in uh, nine, uh, 2016, then I met them at the airport, welcomed them, I was introduced to them, That's the guy, because you have a several conference calls, you hear my voice and this and that. And then I welcome all of them at the airport. And then um, one of the ladies who is a, in actual fact, it's a white domineering school. No black have been there. According to my research, there is only currently one Ghanaian black who has been to the school since the school was established. It's a white domineering school. In Africa? No, in, 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 in US. In US, yeah. Not in Accra, in US. There's, they don't employ blacks, only whites. Yes, I'll see. And then? How do you feel about Oh, very bad. Very bad. And then, when they arrive, these are white students, ages between uh, 18 to 25, they are college students. And then at the airport, after the introduction, everything. And then one of them lifted it, her left hand. I don't know what happened to the right hand, but lifted her head. I said, Yeah, do you have the, uh, any question? He said, Yes. He said, You know what? Um, come now, um, I want to, you know, if you have this slim voice, I want to see. I was told that um, Africans live and sleep on tree. So, is it true? Then I said yes. <laughs> and everyone, Why even the professors were like, huh? <laughs> say yes, they sleep on tree. So you hold on. You will see the tree that they sleep on, okay? You will see the type of food that they eat. Where the African sleeps, that's where you are also going to sleep today. So don't worry. Then her face changed a little bit. Then we started our talk. After the first week, second week, then uh, every at the end of every week, we have a meeting. Sit down, what has transpired, have we done good, have we done this? And, and then they ask so many questions, I also answer. Then one of them asked, said, you know what? I asked a question for the very first day and you haven't answered. I said, are you sure? What question did you ask? He said, I said, I want to see the trees that Africans live on the type of food that they eat and everything. I said, don't worry, you will definitely see. Open your eyes wide, take more pictures, and you will see them. If you don't see them, get back to me. I want you to find it yourself. And he said, okay. The very last day, we have a, a, welfare, a farewell party, farewell party. And then during that, and then the girl asked, he said, I don't know what I've done to you. From the very first day we arrived at the airport, you've answered every thousand questions you've answered, but you've not answered my question, only one question. I said, what question is it? I am the one who asked that I want to see the trees that Africans live on, the food they eat. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. Now, let me ask you. In Ghana, we ask questions within questions. So let me ask you. When you came, where were you sleeping? So beautiful hotels and this, what type of food are you eating? This and this and this and that. I said, okay, then I want you to become a good ambassador to Ghana. Go and tell those who told you that they are liars. They don't know, they told a lie. Tell them you have been there. There is no tree that Africans sleep on. Have you seen someone descending? Yeah, she used the word. He said early in the morning you see them descending from a tree. In the evening they climb and go and sleep on top. He said, go and show them your pictures. Tell them that they are liars. They told a lie, so they should change the narrative. They should never say that thing again. When you go warn them, I cannot warn them from here. You go and fight them and tell them and be a good ambassador for them. Everybody started laughing. The lady started sharing tears. 
And so that's one and you have experienced it. So go and tell them it's never true. We are liars. And she started sharing things. Recently she said, even sent me a, an email that the parents, I spoke to the, when they went back, I spoke to the parent. I went and told his parent that, I, look at it, Africa, look at the hotel we are sleeping. You look at the food. Every food that we eat, we take pictures. We send to the friends, we send to this people. So we have been miseducated about Africa. When I said, when I first started to talk, I said, I've been brainwashed. Yeah. yeah. But I yeah. want to know the truth. Exactly. Yeah. But to know the truth, you got to be able to accept the truth. All exactly. right, George. Exactly. That's the fact. And the truth is ugly. It yeah, is. the truth is ugly. It is ugly. One of them. But give me the truth, no matter I, how ugly it is. I think they said. In the United States. Yeah. They refuse to pay back. Sure. They don't want to pay the black man for the work he did to build that country. Uh -huh. To this day, they won't pay my people. That's right. And they still owe me. That's right. But that's okay. It's coming, George. You understand? I'm gonna make it. Yeah. You can't kill me but one time. Oh. That yeah. makes it worse than anybody else's benefit, not harder. And they ain't gonna do it. We don't wanna still right. got you put on my neck. Yeah. Still right. got you. Get up off me. Get up off of me. Yeah. Well, honey, amen. One, the following year, Another group came, not the same group, different group. When they came, one of the girls also, as I said, they are white, um, also asked a question that, um, is it true that Africans were once monkeys that were changed and all of this and now they became a human being? And I said, who told you this? And so we were taught from uh, a, a school. Then I said, oh, Okay, so she said, I want to see that monkey. I said, okay, you will see your descendants. <laughs> your descendants are here, don't worry, you will see them. At the end of the day, you never saw any monkeys. No. So I asked them, have you seen those monkeys? He said, no. So go and tell them that what they said is not true. It's a big lie. Yeah. It's a big lie. And after this, that young girl, when she uh, uh, got married, all the things that she used were from Ghana. She had a change of mind. She said, when they, they, they always talk that, that, that even in our own school, they will not admit black. They will not admit all whites. Right now, they refuse to treat and teach. They yeah. don't want to teach the truth about white, right? the difference between white and yeah. They don't yeah. want they want to color the different yeah. features. Yeah. It's hard to accept the fact right. that I was right. true yeah. and I did this to you. Yes. And yeah. I'm afraid that if I let you be on equal ground with me, yeah. you might try to retaliate. That's right. So I'm afraid of that. That's why they are so afraid of black men. Yeah. Oh, uh. that's right. <clears throat> but you know what though, George? The, if the day ever comes when Africans worldwide yeah. Retaliate mm -hmm. uh -huh. and stop wanting just justice. Yeah. It's gonna be a done deal. You hear me? Oh yeah. That's yeah. what they're afraid of. Okay. And that's why you we don't have to. We got to do something else on our side. Oh yeah. You understand? We got something else on our side. They got guns and all that junk. But they always you gotta listen to all our leaders, our yeah. own leaders. They want to kill us and stuff like that in the streets. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did Mandela say? Then they got to get rid of my body and they mm -hmm. kill me. 
Chinese are already here. The, the they're still oppressing. They're still oppressing. Still yeah. oppressing. It's the same thing. So we have to come and take our stuff before they come and exactly. take it all. Exactly. And you want to know the truth about it? I'm angry with me. I'm, I'm damn dead dead. I'm 100 years old. <laughs> Where you been? Where you been when you were young? But it's never too late, George. George. It's, it's never too late. And I can tell the one you find here. Yeah, it's a start. It's never too late. Yeah. All that we are talking about is good. That is why uh, my brother Bumani, uh, we started talking about, myself and Bumani started talking about owning a piece of land. I think it was 2015 or 16. Yeah, that we started talking about it. Now, uh, as Dr. Malana said, that if you come and you don't have a piece, a piece of the earth or a piece of land, what are you going to steal? You have nothing. Yeah, nothing. You have nothing. Yeah, yeah, nothing. If you come and then you don't have uh, a house, you are going to stay in the hotel and you, then you become a visitor. You have to go back. But if you have your residence permit and you have your land, you have something here. He also said something that touched my heart so much, Dr. Milana. He said, the, 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 the white, they have a place to stay. In case of anything that they said they are driving the blacks away, where are you going? All the blacks you leave, where are you going? You have nowhere to go. But this is an advantage for you. Take advantage of it and then get your residence permit. You have a dual citizenship. And then get your uh, land. Start something. Do you have to be here in the process to, to get your residence? Yeah. Your residency. Yes. You have to be. Relocated? No, you can start it. Oh you no. Can start it. You can start it. You can start it. Whilst you are even stay. there, whilst you are even there, you can get it. Whilst you are even there, the only thing is that uh, on the day of uh, commissioning, yeah. on inauguration. Yeah. If you are here, that is very good. Okay. Sometimes he continues doing that, you get about 300, 400, 500 people. Okay. And then the president will inaugurate. Okay. That's all. Okay. So you can go and come and shoot the after that. Exactly. Person. That's what I'm doing. Exactly. Don't get only one plot. Yeah. I will employ you, even if it is one acre, four plots. Then you have it. Because currently, we are all planning ahead. Yeah. If you get one plot, 80 by 100, and then all is gone, and tomorrow, your children, your grandchildren are coming, going to expand, there'll be no land. Yeah. Build up. Yeah. It's developed. Yeah. So, if you are buying, have, uh, 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 and I thank God so much for my brothers, the ideology that I have a 10-year a plan, and that's 10 years, is for us to acquire 50 acres. First one was 15. Second one is five zero acres. Those five zero acres, I am getting that land for our brothers and sisters in the diaspora who understand who bear with me to come and live here. Mm -hmm. Then you know that you have a land, you have a place here to stay. See, here's the 
thing. A lot of Africans in America want to relocate. But we, those of us that are the, in, in the movement and have decided to accept this challenge from the Creator to come and do this, it's our job, it's our duty to go back and teach. That's and all we have to do is teach and share. You are I mean, right. I, I have at least 10 people that I know that want to come down. But they have to understand how it really is because you have that fear factor yes. and the fear of the unknown. Uh -huh. And then they want to know, if, are they going to live like they live in the U.S., you know? Uh -huh. Where's the hospital? Where's the dentist, you know? Uh -huh. They want to know all the intricacies of, of living. Thank so you. once you get an understanding of Ghana has it all, yeah. you can share that information. Exactly. exactly. Intelligent. Yes. He has it. I want to say, it should be in this point of my last. For my illness in the past, I'm sorry. But the truth is, I didn't know no better. Uh -huh. You understand? Go yeah. ahead, George. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Oh, man. We were born in the United States. Yeah. That's all we knew. That's all we knew. That's all we knew. <laughs> and, 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 okay, let, let, me, let me ask this question. How do you get to know Africa for the Africans? Thank you. I'll clap for that. You are researching. Exactly. So it says that seek and you will be found. Ask. And you receive. When you knock, they will open you. But when you do your hand like this, and you are not knocking, and you do this, you are not knocking. Nobody hears. Nobody can open you. Nobody can open. So you were searching, and as during your search, you found out that no, this is good. This is what I can go with. This is what touches my heart. I think I can do better when I go to this place. When I do this, when I do that, and there you find yourself. The only thing about um, I I'm sorry it took me so long. No problem. To come here. At uh, God's own time, He does all things beautiful. But uh, you saying we apologize. But like my doctor said, God puts you in His body with you at His time. Mm. Because you know, at my age, um, I say to myself, I'm going to be Africa is such a beautiful country. Now I'm, I'm at this age. I'm gonna miss a lot of the countries. I mean, I did. I went all. I've been practically all over the world. I asked myself, well, why it took you so long to go to Africa? You've been every place else. Why? Because I was brainwashed, like he said, Africa. Uh -huh. You know, it was like so. Oh, yeah. nobody goes there. Yeah. You know, I'm just sorry it took me so long to get here. Exactly. But I'm here now. That's it. You see, you sure let, let, let me say this. Uh, the, I conducted a research Aww. into uh, businesses, how to build a business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, during my research, uh, the Lord just dropped something into my head that business is like athletics uh, 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 four by 100 meters. Athletics is four by hundred meters, and that is how business is. It is only one person, either there are four people, everybody is going to stand somewhere, but it's only one person who have the baton to go down on your mats, set, go. Not all four, but it is only one person. So meaning that in business, it takes one person to start something. And the most important thing is for the starter, not the finisher. Different legs. Look at different legs. So therefore, if you the starter, you are able to come up and you have the speed. You gotta get the break. That's the, that's you the, have the speed. And normally that's the fastest way. And in speed. athletics, we have only two things in athletics. We either have a speed or stamina. You either have a speed or if you don't have a speed, then you should have a stamina. Go a long distance before you finish. But now in this world, we are all running one, uh, 400 by 100 meters. So only one person goes down. It might happen that you are the first person who has gone down. Set, so you take off fast. As you take off fast, you people. 
talk about your uh, children, your grandchildren, your friends and thus and that, then they will say, wow, what they say is true. Then they will also continue and continue and you will be able to finish out. So, 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 so we have to start. We have to start. Yeah. We have to start. Yeah. But we already started because we're here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, how about it?